In this video, we'll show you how you can share values between calculations in TEDS for Word, such as taking the reaction from a beam and using that in a masonry bearing check, or perhaps using the axial load from a column design in a base plate check. Remember, when you create a document with multiple calculations, each one should be in its own calc section so that all the different variables can be remembered and so that the various calculation values don't get mixed up. Before we get into the full linking demonstration, there are three topics that you need to know about. And these are predefining variables, document variables, and the promote variable function. You can predefine values to be used in any calculation by simply typing the variable definition, i.e. the name, the value, and the unit, in the document before the link to the calculation. So for example, if we preview the output from the US Wood Member Design calculation, we can see that the calculation is looking for a design moment and also a design actual compression. And the example of the design moment, the variable definition is MX equals 1500 pound foot. So that's our variable definition that we need to, we need to be aware of. We can now insert the calculation into our document in its calc section. And just above the link to the calculation there, we can type in our own variable definition. So for this example, we want capital M and then a little subscript X equals, and we'll use 1.5. And in this case, we use a different unit. We use kip foot. It's an equivalent unit, but something slightly different just to show another, another feature here. So that's our variable definition just simply typed onto the document. And now when we calculate the document, it will calculate the MX definition first. And you'll see here it's populated our calculation interface with that value. And it's also converted our kit foot to pound foot. We'll just accept the other defaults and continue through the calculation and take a look at the output. So there's our definition. We've typed it on the screen. And further down in the document, you can see it's picked out that value. MX equals 1500 pound foot. And it's done the unit conversion for us. Now, if I want to change the value, I can simply change the numerical value in my manual definition, calculate the document again, and we'll see here the interface has now picked up our new value. And the old results will obviously update to suit. Once you know a little bit more about writing calculations in TEDS, you can actually use an expression or a formula here rather than just typing in the numerical value, which you could actually do in this example using the interface. But this is just to show that you can predefine your values before you run a calculation. To link variables from one calc section to another, we need to make use of what's called document variables. And these are variables that are either defined in the document before the very first calc section or have actually been promoted from within a calc section. So in this very simple example, the length A of 20 feet has been defined before the first calc section and is hence a document variable. Whereas the width B and the formula for the area C are both within calc section one and then repeated in calc section two. So they will be unique calc section variables. When running a calculation, TEDS will always look at the calc section variables first. And only then, if it can't find the value it's looking for, will it then move up and look at the document variables. This very simple calculation doesn't actually have an interface, but we can see the output now. So when we look at the calculation in within section number one, it knows the value for B. When it comes to calculate the value for area C, it doesn't find A in the section. It will then look at the document variable list for length A of 20 feet, multiply it by the calculation value for B, to come up with our 600 feet squared result. And it then move on and do the same in calc section two. Doesn't know what A is in the section, but finds it in the document list, multiplies it by the current value of B to come up with 800 square feet. We can use the variable manager to make things a little bit clearer. So first of all, if I place my cursor in the top area here above calc section number one, where length A is defined, and look at my known variables, we'll see at this point, Ted's only knows about A, the document variable of 20 feet. If I then move my cursor into calc section number one and then look at the variables again, it still knows about A, our document variable, 20 feet, but it also now has the unique calc section one variables of B, 30 feet, and C, 600 feet squared. 
So if I move into calc section number two and look at the variables there, again, I've still got A, my document variable, but now I've got my new B, 40 feet, and the associated C of 800 feet, the unique section variables. But A is now available to both section number one and section number two. So if I define a variable at the very beginning of the document before the first calc section, that will become a document variable available to all sections. If, however, I want to make an existing calc section variable available to other calc sections, I need to convert it to a document variable. And to do this, we can use a TEDS function called promote variable. And it's simply a question of typing in the word promote variable at the bottom of the section where the variable I wish to promote has been defined. And then I open brackets and in quotes, write the variable names. So in this case, we'll promote the variable C. Close the quote and close the bracket and then type equals question mark which is the enough information for Ted to know it needs to calculate the line and run the promote variable function. If you've written any of your own calculations before, you'll already be familiar with this. So let's calculate. If it's worked successfully, then I'll just get an answer of one and I can then check my variables manager and I'll see at the document level, we now have A and the new value for C. That's been promoted from the section. It still is a section variable, and we can see here that the little blue arrow indicates that it's been promoted to the document level. If I look in the variables for the document level before the first section, we'll see that C is available there, which means it's now available for any subsequent calc sections we create. If I update calc section number two such that the variable C changes value, the promote variable function will run again, and it'll update my document level variable C to be the new value of, in this case, 1,000 square feet. So it will update every time we change the calculation. You can actually promote multiple variables at the same time using the same promote variable function. So for example, if we wanted to promote both B and C, we would just simply type them in, surrounded by quotes, and then use a comma to separate the individual variables. And now when we calculate, we can check in the variables manager and we'll see that both B and C have been promoted from calc section number two to become document variables. So if you define a variable at the beginning of your document before the first section, it will automatically be a document variable, or you can use promote variable to create document variables from your calc section variables. If you're going to be promoting the same values from multiple sections, so for example, we want to promote both B and C from section one and section two, you first need to give them some unique variable names. Otherwise, the document variables will be simply overwritten by the final promote variable function. So in this example, what we'll do is we'll create a unique name for both B and C for section two. So we'll say C2 and make that equal to the C and we'll do B2 equal to the value of B in this current section. And instead of promoting B and C, we'll actually promote these unique values. And what we'll do is we'll repeat the exercise for section one and call them C1 and B1. So this means we can actually use exactly the same formula in multiple sections for our designs and simply assign the unique variable names before we promote them. In this particular example, the calculation is particularly simple, just A times B, but this could easily be a calculation from the TEDS library. We just want to repeat but then promote some key values for use in subsequent calc sections. Now that I've made quite a few changes, I'll delete all the current variables and then calculate the document again. That's worked without any errors, so my promote variable functions have run, and I can look at the variables manager and see, here we are, it's my document level, I now have A, B1 and B2, C1 and C2. So they've been promoted as unique values from the calc sections, even though the actual fundamental expressions for width and area are exactly the same. Now that we've discussed how to predefine variables, how document variables work, and how to promote a calc section variable to become a document variable, let's bring it all together with a practical example of linking two calculations from the TES library. And for this example, we'll take the variable for the axial load from a Eurocode steel column design and link it through to the Eurocode base plate check. A good tip here is you can actually use the worked examples that come with the TEDS calculations to preview the output to get to know which variables are involved. So for example, if we take a preview of the, a steel column design worked example, and we can scroll through the results and find here that the axial load has a variable name of NED and a unit of kilonewtons. So that's the variable definition for axial load in a steel column design. 
we look at the column base plate design and look at the, a preview of one of these, we can see the axial compression force has a slightly different variable name of NCED, and again it's in kilonewtons. And now we can go ahead and build up our document. So we'll insert the steel column design in its calc section, and straight underneath that we can go ahead and put in our column base plate in its unique calc section. We're not going to predefine any values for the steel column design, but what we will do is go ahead and run it in isolation first. So we'll calculate that section. And for the purpose of this example, I'm going to put in an axial load of 1,000 kilonewtons. And keep everything else as either zero or the default properties. So we can just focus on one variable for now. But NED is now 1,000 kilonewtons in, it, in this example. So there we go, NED is 1000 kilonewtons and that's the variable I now want to promote to be a document variable so it can be picked up by the column base plate design so I'll use the promote variable function that we've already discussed and just promote NED by typing in the name within quotes being careful to make sure they get exactly the right variable name close the quotes close the bracket and then press equals question mark to give Ted something to calculate so if I calculate this section again, and we'll just run through the interface again. The promote variable functions seems to have worked. It's got a value of one. I can look at my variables list and down here, here are all the calc section variables for the steel column design, one of which is NED. It's got its blue arrow and it's been promoted to be a document variable automatically. And then we have a thousand kilonewtons as a document variable. When I go to my column base plate now, I actually want to predefine the co compressive axial force, but rather than typing in a numerical value, I want to make it equal to my previously promoted axial load from the, the column. So this time I'm going to type in the variable name, which I remember now is N subscript CED. You may need to run the calculation a few times to get totally familiar with all the variable names, but N CED and I want to make that equal to the recently promoted NED. And that's actually enough to make this calculation work, but it may be also be interesting to actually see that numerical value. So what I'm also going to do is type in equals question mark kilonewtons. So it's actually going to report back the value when it's run. So now I can run just this expression. And now we have NCED equals NED equals 1000 kilonewtons. And I can check that in the variable manager. Here we are. NCED is now a calc section variable, even though I haven't run the column base plate yet, because it's been picked up from my document list. So when I do run this column base plate design, and I'll calculate its section, the actual force should be brought through. And we just look at the default values for geometry and material properties. Let's look at the design forces. And there we go, axial force is 1000 kilonewtons. So that's been brought through from the column design. And I'll just complete that calculation. So now if I calculate the whole thing again, because my design has changed for some reason, and let's say let's double the axial load on here, so I'm increasing it to 2000 kilonewtons, I can update my column design. It might actually fail. Yes, it does, but not to worry about that. Go straight through to my column base plate. And here we are, the design axial force here has actually also been updated to 2000 kilonewtons. So the two calculations are automatically linked now. Anything that changes in the steel column design will also be carried through to the steel base plate check. So I've kept this relatively simple. I've only used one variable, but I can also extend this now to copy through things like the shear force and the column size. And I've also only connecting one column to one base plate. So I've not tried to use unique variable names, which I would do if I was going to do multiple columns and multiple base plates. So that was an introduction to linking calculations in TEDS for Word and sharing variable values between calculation sections using the promote variable function. Remember you can promote multiple variables at one time and you need to use unique variable names if you're promoting the same variables from multiple calculations in the same document. Hopefully you'll find the process fairly straightforward and the bit you need to spend a little bit of time on is determining which variables you want to promote and share for your particular design situation. If you'd like to go things in a little bit more detail, then please do contact your local help desk and they'll be happy to discuss the training options available for TEDS.
But for now, if you have any suggestions for topics we can cover in future videos, then please do get in touch. Thank you.